Hey guys, today I am coming to you looking like this. No makeup on, which I've done in other live videos. I've done in ad videos. You know, kids, I've had my kids in the background because today's live is about overcoming the fear of judgment. Every entrepreneur has to go through this. So if you're getting into e-commerce, honestly, this one... This topic isn't that huge of a deal for you because you don't have to tell anyone that, hey, I am building a website online. I'm going to be drop shipping and making lots of money and selling other people's products. It's a real legitimate small business. Like, I'm going to be doing all this great stuff. You can hustle in quiet and let your results speak for themselves with mommycom and drop shipping and e commerce and being a mommycompreneur. But Say you're doing something like I'm doing now, where now you've gotten so good at something that you have a market and niche and people you genuinely want to help with your experience that you think, hey, I've been in this position, which I'm sure many other people are, or women or moms, and now I've overcome this situation and I've done something great and I've got an great income stream and I've scaled and now I want to share that with other people and I want to do something great. So when you're at that point, that just like where I'm at now, it's overcoming fear of judgment. Also, it kind of goes into e-commerce because when people do find out about your shop, they're going to be critical. They're going to be like, okay, well, I want to learn about your brand. I want to learn about your shop. And people are critical and you worry about the content you put out there, you worry about the way you look, the way you're perceived. It's just, it's exhausting. So for me, personally, I say, you know what? To overcome the fear of judgment, all I have to do is be able to love, like I have to only worry about my judgment. Like that is what matters. Do I feel good about what I'm putting out? Do I feel like I'm doing a good job? Do, how do I feel? So when you're getting into entrepreneurship, mompreneurship, only take really you and maybe stock in the most important people's judgment of what you're doing. Because so many people will bring you down because they're not doing anything. And... <laughs> They are envious or jealous or they have their own personal insecurities that are causing them to judge you. Don't put any investment in that. Take stock and take investment in your judgment and those who are closest to you. And if they're closest to you and they love you, they're going to be supportive, give you honest feedback. Um, don't worry about, you know, at some point... I want to connect authentically with my market, my people, my tribe, you guys, you know. Um, most moms I know who are like working, taking care of family, might have some health issues, you know, they are not 100% done up every single day. And I wish I was. Like I want to get to that point and I just don't think it's relatable and so I don't feel any fear or judgment in coming like no makeup on doing a live video right now maybe nobody will watch this maybe people will i'm not gonna worry about it because i i'm more worried about my family making good dinner my business being profitable and i'm putting myself out there and the people who are my tribe who resonate with me at my most authentic self that you're seeing right now are my people and those are the people you want buying from your e-commerce store those are the people you want investing in your brand those are the people you want to be leading to their new great destination you know like i feel like i want to lead all my students to be great in e-commerce and do great things and overcome balancing you know business ownership being a mom and just putting yourself out there and going for it because I honestly, with 100% of my soul, believe that moms need mommy compreneurship the most. They need passive streams of income, you know? And e-commerce is a stream of income. 
And it's a great starting point, especially if you're a mompreneur, because it will learn, teach and you will learn so much that you can then go into developing your own product. You'll have that confidence. You could go develop your own course on e-commerce or your niche or something or find out that you're into coaching and find more on your mompreneurship journey. You learn about yourself in entrepreneurship, mompreneurship. You grow. It's a journey. You know what I mean? I don't know if anyone's getting this, but today's lesson really is about focus on overcoming judgment. Do not let the judgment of others hold you back. If you don't try ever because of that fear, you will fail because without action, you won't have any results. Don't judge yourself too harshly. Celebrate the wins. I know we all have that really critical voice in our head, that fear voice like, oh, well, this isn't ready. Like, I can't launch unless I have this and I ha- this has to be perfect. That's not true. It's all about testing, retesting, optimizing. And over time, you will find what is perfect. Okay? So overcome that fear of judgment, of starting that business, believing in yourself, taking that first step. You know what I mean? Just overcome the judgment from yourself and others and just go out and do it. I mean, sometimes I've had to meditate on this a lot. Like I do meditations where letting go of judgment, fear and anxiety. You can Google it, find them on YouTube, find those on YouTube. And you will find that over time, if you do that consistently, your mindset changes, you can overcome those fears and you'll just learn to love yourself and be like, you know what? I'm going to do me. I'm not going to worry about the future, the outcome. I'm just going to try and see where it leads with no expectation, no judgment, and and let it go. And do you, and do it, and try it, and don't care what anyone thinks. And, and don't be judgmental of yourself, because it, it won't get you anywhere. It doesn't help if you're constantly picking at yourself. I can tell you, I've been there. <laughs> it is not good for you, your family, your soul, like your journey, you will evolve and grow more if you're like, okay, instead of thinking about judging myself, how can I learn from myself? Let's go to a place of learning. So let's take away the word judgment and let's go to learning. How can I learn from these mistakes? So maybe I started into entrepreneurship and which I did and I I tried different things. So I tried Etsy and art and I tried MLMs. <laughs> and I don't know why I say that with such shame. Like I judge myself for that because, you know, I didn't want to sell the family and friends and I didn't want to, it was just a nightmare. But I've, you know, I judge myself for failing at those things. But honestly, when I look back to overcome it, I said, you know what? At least I'm trying and I'm going down the list of business opportunities For me to be a mompreneur and saying, look, Etsy and my art doesn't work. It is not a working business model, okay? I tried to paint pet portraits and human portraits, not good margins, too much time and energy, too much, like, it's just so much, okay? That doesn't work. Check and move on to the next entrepreneurial journey, okay? So next thing, try an MLM. I was really into it. I believed in the product. I was using it to help myself. Tried selling to family and friends and just backfire, backfire, backfire. And I was just like, you know what? Check. This is not for me. MLM is not my thing. It will never be my thing. I need to keep moving. How can I create passive income from home? Okay. Next thing I tried. I think I nannied, right? I nannied. So I was with my son and I had another child that I was watching during the day. Very educational. I focused on arts and crafts. It was like having fun with your kid all day and getting paid to do it. And I was in school then and college and I was like, okay, this is kind of entrepreneurial, right? And I really, I'm good because it's kind of easy to just play with kids all day. It's not that hard, right? So, I mean, it can be, but for me, it wasn't too difficult at the time. But after a while, I was like, okay, I can't scale this business. There's so much mess to clean up. It's physically exhausting. (laughs) 
check. This is not where my mompreneur entrepreneurial journey is leading me, right? And then I was like, okay, what can I do online, right? So I go, affiliate, Amazon affiliate. I can do that. Like, I can so do that. And then a social media marketing agency. I got into that and I could so do that. And I got a couple of clients and I was like, look, this is just too much work. Even if I outsource and I have to pay them and there's so many brands to keep track of and Facebook will only let you have so many ad accounts. Like, Again, it was roadblocks, roadblocks, roadblocks. So I was like, okay, that's not working, check. And that is signs of God or the universe or Buddha or Allah. I don't know what you believe in, but whoever your higher power is, that is signs from them saying, hey, you're not on the right path. Hello. <laughs> so I would be like, okay, check. This is not the right path. Check. This is not the right path. Drop shipping. Shopify. I got into it. I taught myself it. I was excited about it. My first month opening my shop, $5,000 in sale. Ding, ding, ding. I was like, thank God, I finally did it, you know? And then the next month came, I was like, holy, how do I, like, recreate this? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can't even believe it's happening. It was surreal. I was like, I finally found a a job and a business that I own 100%. I own, it's all mine. But then... The second month, I doubled the sales. And the third month, I tripled the sales. It's like, oh, my God. And, you know, we booked a two-week vacation to Maui. We got so excited. I mean, don't you want that, too? Wouldn't you want that? Like, wouldn't you want to try and try, forget about what people think, forget judgment, because I'm sure my family and friends thought I was crazy, like, she is just trying and it's like she's into a new thing every week. But you know what? I was finding my thing. I was finding my journey. Okay? And I found it. I found it with e-commerce. And it's been such a blessing. Like how would that change your life? To be able to say, hey, let's go to Maui for two weeks. Let's just see the whole island. We can afford it. Like, hey, we can afford to buy a house now. What kind of house do we want? It just opens doors. It's a, it's a domino effect. If you, instead of taking, all uh, like and judging myself and saying, hey, this didn't work out for you. You're a failure. This didn't work out. You obviously suck at business. This didn't work out. You're not an entrepreneur. You can't do it because your mom, blah, blah, blah. And all that negative judgment in my own head, not a let alone from other people. I would have never kept getting back up on the horse. You know what I mean? It's like you have to get back up there. And failure in those things and judgment, it's just an opportunity to see a lesson to grow, to learn more about yourself, and to find your right true purpose. And all this has led me into mommy calm and teaching other moms how to be mommy compreneurs. And I just love the idea of giving that, like a mom, just like me, you know? <sighs> What's that like? Uh, sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. <laughs> Something like it's like a Drake song, but I love it because I'm just like, I might not look like a mompreneur mogul, but I am. And I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with building a tribe that doesn't judge me for that and doing my thing and being authentic instead of being like super fake. You know, I want to be genuine. I want to be myself. I'm not going to let judgment hold me back from that. If you have the desire to get into entrepreneurship, your mom, mommy com is such a great place to start. It really is. And no one should judge you for wanting that, for one. And for two, for trying. And if you, I don't think you'll fail because I feel like I want to lead all my students to success, right? But if it's not your thing, you could move on, you know. I I mean, we do offer money back guarantee, so, you know, you can still try it. And don't judge yourself. Don't take judgment from other people. And that's kind of my live lesson today. 
about overcoming judgment. And that's how I overcame it. I really just came by, you know what? I might experience these painful things, stuff that's pushing me back, makes me feel like I'm not going anywhere. But instead of thinking about it that way, I'm going to flip the switch in my brain and think about it like, okay, no, you are making progress because you're finding out what doesn't work. So you're going one step closer to the right direction. And it turned out it was. And you don't need approval from other people to do something great for you and your family. And it's been so liberating to just say it's okay to fail and get back up and try. It's okay to not be ashamed. It's okay to not care what people think. It's okay to be yourself, and by doing that, you'll actually have so much more value, and you'll learn so much more, you'll grow so much more, and find yourself so much more faster than trying to base your outcome and your life and your business and everything on the judgments of other people and what they want for you. Think about that. That's profound. If you were to do that, you'd probably get nowhere other than a pit of despair. I I would have gotten there if I counted on the judgments of other people and looked negatively and judged all the situations negatively that I had gone through and overcome to get to where I'm at. I'm very happy with where I'm at. And I'm still growing. The growth never stops. But so so much success with e-commerce. I'm now like, well, why am I selling other people's products? Like, now that I know how to sell products and do it successfully, and I know all this about business, I want to create my own products, you know? So now I'm even on that route. And I say this all because I want to encourage other women and other moms, especially moms, because... It's so easy to lose ourselves as moms. It's like your whole body changes, your life changes, and then you just become like, it's like, who am I? I don't even know what I am, what's my life purpose, like, what am I doing? Is it just to serve these tiny humans? Like, I'm, like, their slave? Or, like, what is I doing? And then I'm like, okay, wait, no, 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 wait. You need to teach them grow them so they can serve themselves and take care of themselves <laughs> so you need to it's how oh, it was just such a change for me and I just thought as a mom you know I needed that income to support my family but I couldn't be away I had disabilities uh, you guys know my story if you're on my page so today I hope you get the message that you should always overcome judgment and fear of judgment Fear won't get you anywhere. It will always hold you back. It's better to put something out there and be judged than not put something out at all, in my opinion. I've put stuff out there and I'd be like, wow, that is embarrassing. I look ridiculous. <laughs> but you know what? That's me. And I'm, o- I'm okay with me and I love me and I'm trying. At least I tried and I'm not the person that didn't put anything out because I was so afraid. Overcome your fear, guys. Happy Monday.